G'day everyone. Uh, yet another horse tutorial or painting guide. Uh, so how I speed paint my grey horses. Now this is a bit of an experiment. I haven't tried this before so we'll see how it goes. Uh, the colours I'm going to be using on the horse bodies is London grey and light grey. So first we'll go London grey then we'll do a 60 40 mix of them two and then a very light dry brush of light grey. So without further ado we're just gonna basically give this an all over paint don't worry about the tails because they're gonna get painted a different color so we're just gonna give an all over paint to all the bodies again don't know if you're too precious at this point because we just want to get a coat of this on so obviously we're going to do this on both sides and on all of them and I'm going to do me hooglands at the same time. And with all them dry, what we're going to do now is we're going to dry brush all over that with that mixture of light grey and London grey. So I have roughly about 60, 40, maybe a bit more light grey. Oh, way too much paint. That's annoying. Okay. So we just want to get quite a heavy overbrush for this. Don't worry if it's a bit messy, because the ink will hide, or the wash rather, will hide most of what you're trying to do. So a good overbrush over the whole model. And that'll just give that a subtle, lighter highlight and you don't put too much paint on your brush like I've done. Just his belly. Okay, something like that. You can still see the on the ground in each. And you want to do that to everyone. And with all of them done, you see it's just a subtle highlight. We're going to use uh, sky grey and we're just going to give it a really light dry brush for this. So I want to make sure I get most of this paint off my brush this time. Don't make the same mistake as last time. And then just an all over dry brush for the sky grey. Light grey rather. Just a light one. So that way it should just pick out the edges. Hopefully, or mostly. So, just sort of like that. So, next up, we're going to do all the tails and hair with Vallejo light grey. Not too much paint on there, just take a bit off. Use whatever brush you like to use. Try not to go over any of the other areas that you've done so far. Uh, and on these, I'm going to do black stockings all the way up. Like that. Quite high up the leg. So I'm going to do that on all of them, and I'll get back to you. Just a bit. So, with all the black grey done, and also I painted in the eyes as well, ready. Uh, next thing to do is I'm going to dry brush all them black areas I've just painted with London grey. Uh, and that, when I put the wash on, will hopefully give it a subtle highlight. That's it, not too much. Lovely, just like that. So just a subtle highlight. It doesn't show up as much on camera as it does in real life. And then where I put the black on the legs, I'm just going to try and transition that in a bit more by going a bit heavier at the top and lighter at the bottom. So heavier at the top. Oh, thumbs in the way. 
and then just a light dry brush at the bottom. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do all of them now. So I've just got one thing more to show you, uh, and I'm going to do the all the horses' straps and things. And I'm going to use the leather belt for this for later. I'll show you the part in a second. So we're just going to carefully go around all of these. Like that. Um, <clears throat> I don't normally show this bit, but I just thought, just for a change, I'll show you how I do the leather. So just, oh, <laughs> just be careful around the head, because you don't want to go over, because you've done all the dry brushing. So we're just going to do all of these. Like that. <clears throat> uh, paint all the lever on and I'll show you when it comes to highlighting how I highlight that lever up. Uh, also, yeah, this is the other thing I need to do with the lever. Where is it? So I will do all this saddle as well. And leather. And then, as I say, these bits. I'm not going to paint them because they're never going to get seen when the ride is on. So we're just going to do all them bits. Uh, and I will get back to you now after I've put the wash over. And hopefully I won't have to do anything else to the horses themselves. Just highlight the tack in theory. Um, but as I say, it's the first time I've done it this way. So we'll see together, won't we? Uh, but I am going to pimp these up because I'm going to give them dapples. Um, so we shall see what they look like after they've all been washed. So, all washed, all done. Um, on this one I've highlighted the leather belt up, as you can see. Uh, and that's not at all because I painted the leather belt on the wrong horse that I was going to show the dappling on. <laughs> but there you go. So I think you could probably leave them like that, which I'm going to do with my Ulan. Uh, you can see the transition worked quite well where I've dry brushed in there. But now I'm just going to show you how I do the dappling. So for this, I'm going to be using three different colours. And they are light grey, sky grey and off-white. Now, I've got to be honest, if I had ultra and grey, I'd probably replace the off-white with ultra and grey or even use that as well. So all we're going to do here get the light grey first of all and just do some little spots around certain areas and then any shaded areas right there we're just going to leave them completely alone Ooh, try not to make the spots too big and then don't go over poor because remember you've got to put the other spots on as well at some point so just put one there one there and then up on the neck, and then try and get them kind of uneven, like that. So I'll do the other side, and then we'll get back with the next colour. Right, so now we're going to get some light grey. And we're going to just do the same again, uh, and just find gaps this time. To pop a bit of light grey in. So, you can just do it by eye. There's no... You know, you've got to put this dot here and that dot there. Just where you think it looks good. And just try and keep it pretty uneven so it looks a lot more random. Because that will look better in the long run. So I've got a couple of colours on. I'll do the other side. And for the final dapple colour, we're going to use off-white. Again, no hard and fast roll. Just stick a few dobbies here and there where you think they look quite good. So I'm just going to carry on around the rest of the horse and finish that off. Okay, so that's how I dapple these dark grey horses. If you just pop 
got the rider on. So there you've got kind of the finished article. So that would be it finished, but I'm gonna sh just show you on what I prepared earlier, how I do the leather belt. So, <clears throat> and that's your original brown with the leather belt on. So this is what I use, Panzer Ace's leather belt. And then we're gonna highlight it afterwards with a model color orange brown. So let me just get some paint on my brush. So what we're gonna do, because it's already been done uh, leather belt once and I put the wash over it and that darkened it down. So now all I'm gonna do is pick out some of the kind of raised areas and just put some of this leather belt on them, leaving quite a lot of the darker uh, initial color showing through. I'm trying to get it on camera, sorry. So when that dries, it will actually be really subtle. Uh, and then on these areas, like, just avoid going to the edges and just do the middles. I hope that's showing up on camera. Like that. So we're gonna just do all the central and just avoid the edges so you get that nice dark contrast. And with all that done, what we're gonna do now is use the orange brown and we're just gonna go into the center of all them areas that we've just highlighted and put a little bit of orange brown on there. Now it look, will look quite stark when you initially put it on, but it does dry a lot darker and blends in. So we're just gonna do little areas of the orange brown. And again on the horse's head, trying to get it on camera, probably struggling, but yeah, just in the centers of these reins around his head, and then just, again, just on that raised area there, and that'll look quite good, a bit down there, you get the general idea, a bit on this front bit, oh. hmm. like that. So you're just gonna get try and catch all them the centre of all them areas that you've just done. Well that done. What you gotta do is put your under on. I'll just I will glue him on in a minute. And then you have another finished Norman. So that's another eight of them done. Twenty-four finished so far. Uh, I've also, I'll just show you with the blue. I did the same thing with the blue reins. It's basically just a triad. Start with a dark blue and highlighting up. There's a green one somewhere. I can find him. There he is. So again, just the same thing. Just subtle highlights. Build it up in a triad. So that is how I paint my dappled greys. Or dark double greys. I have got a method for painting the lighter ones as well, which I may or may not show. Um, because it's you know, it's much of a muchness, anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope this tutorial or well, this painting guide was of help to some people. I don't really like to call them tutorials because it's like then I don't know why, but I don't, anyway. Another eight done. 16 to go, including you lads. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.